A uh, big premiere last night and this morning we catch up with the Hollywood stuntman turned blockbuster director behind some of our favourite films. Think John Wick, Atomic Blonde, Bullet Train, to name just three of them. Last year David and his team took over Sydney Town to make a star-studded flick that's kind of an ode to the stuntman. I uh, spoke with David and his producing partner wife Kelly McCormick to talk all things The Fall Guy. Okay, I'm not the hero of this story. I'm just a stunt guy. Trying to look cool in front of a director of this movie. There's just one little wrinkle. The star of the movie, Tom Ryder, is missing. We need you to find him. Lovely to see you both. Nice Good to see you. you. Welcome back. Yeah, we love being here. This is amazing to be back. Yeah, yeah. we love Sydney. Yeah. How long did you spend here? Eight months? Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, eight months. Eight months. Yeah. It was like coming home when we got here yesterday. Tell me about the decision to, to shoot in Sydney. If you live in L.A. and you work in the business, you never work in L.A. as a filmmaker. <laughs> You're always having to transport someplace else. And we thought that would be part of the story behind the story of Colt Seavers having to go to a new destination. It's a really cinematic city, and I think that added to us being excited to come here. You've done so much. I mean, this has been described as a sort of an ode to the, the stunt man, if you like. How much of that's true? It is true. It is sort of a love letter to the stunt community, but it's also a love letter to all the crew, the people that make the magic happen. Yeah, it's also a love letter to Sydney. It's also a bit of a love letter to Ryan Gosling. I mean, you, <laughs> <laughs> you make this guy look good, right? It's hard well, to it's make hard. him not look good. <laughs> it's hard. It is hard to make him look bad. Uh, there are a couple some gratuitous slow-mo shots of him coming out of the water with the uh, Sydney Opera House in the background. This is an epic story. Of cosmic proportions. A lot of couples have trouble getting through a day without working together. How tense does it get? You know, why did you have to spend all that money on the earth? So, <laughs> yes or no? David's an incredibly collaborative filmmaker. I'll just say that and husband. He's the that. perfect guy, right? Is that what you're you're saying? the perfect guy. Oh, really? Come on. Well, you're the perfect woman. I like, no, I mean, look, we make these movies together and I think it's a great partnership and it's great having someone that you can tell stories together with and like you have each other's back. If you second guess yourself, you have someone there to tell you you're you're spot on or you're like uh you're totally full of, you're full of <laughs> <laughs> and do you do that yeah oh absolutely he's falling in with some shady people just checking in on you and then not gonna like you sniffing around i'm just a stunt guy Working with someone like Brad Pitt, you know, Bullet Train and all that, arguably the, the best. You're right there? Yeah, it was so much fun. <laughs> After doubling him for all those years to get and actually direct him, you know, as a director, Brad, he's just a joy to be around. He's so fun and funny. And it was really on that movie, we got to sort of explore his comedic side that he doesn't get to do that often. And we just had a blast on that movie. Yeah. You did Mr. and Mrs. Smith as well, I think. Didn't I you? did, I did. I got to double him on that. It was a crazy time, I think, in his life. But, you know, it was actually, it was a really, uh, that was an incredible experience. I remember doing the press junk for Mr. and Mrs. Smith. There was a contract about that thing we had to. <laughs> yeah. So Ryan, you know, he's coming off Barbie, right? This guy's hotter than hot. It's insane, you know, to think Ryan and Emily are both had uh, Academy noms this year, and that they're in our movie. Uh, at this moment in time, it's so serendipitous for us. There was a moment where we were going to make Fall Guy before Barbie. Remember that? Yeah, there was. And uh, the studio was pretty frustrated that we had to wait for Barbie. But now we're all really happy to wait for Barbie. <laughs> Good decision, right? <laughs> and you got the new James Bond in there as well, for heaven's sake. Well, I, I see. Know. I, the rumors are really exciting. Oh, right? wouldn't he be a great James Bond, though? Aaron Taylor Johnson is a genius. If they're really thinking about making him Bond, they should sign the dotted line right now. <laughs> Yeah, timing is everything, isn't it? The Fall Guy, the big premiere in Sydney town last night where they made the movie. It hit cinemas on April the 24th. And another entertainment headlines you're going to be happy about this, Carlos. Stan smash hit crime series Black Snow will be coming back for season two. Your mate Travis Fimmel will reprise, reprise his role. He'll do a lot of things, I suspect, as Detective Cormac with the star taking on a brand new cold case. The second season currently filming in Queensland will keep you posted on a release date. We love this show. There you go. Great, act. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?